Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We got an awesome video in store for you this evening. We have the HP TG02 Victus, and we are going to be throwing the RTX 3070 in here. And uh, we also have a surprise inside the case that you, a lot of the commenters and people in the, a lot of people on the channel have been asking about. Also, we're going to have a little surprise. We'll, we'll find out the new 500 watt power supply is in here, and it does have two six plus two pin uh, PCIe adapter cables in there. So we are going to see if we still need the splitter like the TG01 or not. But anyways, guys, I'm going to jump over to the on-screen, and this is kind of going to ruin my surprise, but whatever. All right, guys, jump over to the on-screen, and our NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 scored 6,466. Of course, we didn't get any game info because this is the first time we ran this benchmark. And if we come down and look at our graphics test number one, we scored 40.33 FPS, and our graphics test number two was 34.86. This was 3D Mark Time Spy, non-normal. This was ran at 4K. A couple quick mentions, guys. If you want to follow this upgrade along with me, go ahead and unplug all your power cables, the HDMI cables, network cables, anything that's plugged into the back of the PC, and get the side panel off, and that's where we're going to start this upgrade from. All right, guys, a couple things I wanted to mention really quick before we jump into this upgrade is the size that'll actually fit in the Victus. The size is only going to be 10.5. That's any card you fit in here. That's up to the RTX 3070. And one thing I do want to mention there is only two brand makers that will make dual fan cards that will fit in this PC. Number one is MSI, and number two is ASUS. ASUS makes a couple of variants, and so does MSI. They actually have like two or three cards in MSI, and I think two for ASUS. I will have all these cards linked down in the description down below uh, and stuff like that. I would mention the Zotec, but of course if you want to have to bend metal with the Tech Nitwit, which you don't want to have to do because then your side panel doesn't go on, and yeah. I'll stop you up and we're going to jump right into this upgrade. So we're going to grab these three tabs right here, and we're going to pull the front of the case off. And it swings like a door, and then we're going to come here, and we're going to unplug our RGB for our front panel. You might have to wiggle and jiggle back and forth, and there we go. That's unplugged. Set this forward. And since we're right here in the front, we're going to get our iFixit kit out. We're going to grab a T15 Torx head, because that's what's used on all HPs. And we are going to undo this screw right here. And this is going to allow the silver cage to be free. And then we have one more screw, which is right here. And it's going to allow the black portion of the cage to be free. So we're going to pull this guy forward and out. This guy's going to go about halfway and then come straight out. The only reason I take the top one off is just to allow you guys to see into the case better for all the cameras we have on set. Otherwise, you could leave this in here to do the upgrade. You wouldn't have to take that out. So you might not have to take the front panel out. But if you want all the room in the world, do exactly as I do, and it'll be a lot easier on you. All right, guys. First thing we're going to do is we are going to come and unplug our RTX 3050. And that's going to leave our graphics card unmolested. And we have a screw in the back that actually retains a little door. And that's going to be what actually holds the GPU in. So let's go ahead and unback that guy up. This guy is a little bit unique. It's a little bit of a smaller screw. So keep that off to the side. Don't mix that up with the other screws. Go ahead and swing your door open. And then there's a little latch at the top here. If you see right there. You got to press down on this latch while pulling forward on the graphics card. So let me Jumanji my hand in here, push down, and pull forward. Wiggle and jiggle. And there comes our TX 3050 out of the case. And as you can see, this is the MSI variant. It's a very nice card. All right, we are going to go ahead and grab our 3070. This is Zotec. And of course, the reason I don't say you want this card is because it is too wide for this case. As you can see, it's kind of hard to get it in here. So you got to kind of Jumanji the living crap out of this. You got to bend the case back, and there you go. And as you can see, it's too far right here. See how it's actually coming out? You can kind of bend the case, and you can get the card in here, but then your case doesn't exactly go on the best, and yeah. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm making sure it's seated here. I'm going to suggest that you don't get this RTX 3070. I just want to show you that the Victus can do the 3070, run some benchmarks, and stuff like that. Of course, we're going to grab both our power cables. I don't know if they changed the power supply to make both of these available now. One before would not work with graphics cards, so we had to split it here. So we're going to try it in this condition first, and you'll see if it actually works. I'm going to give a 50% chance that this works, that we're going to have to split one of these connectors. But maybe HP got wise and was like, yeah, we need uh, two of these for a 3060 Ti. 
Uh, might be a good idea if we have those in there instead of having to buy a separate cable and actually uh, put it in there. Like one of these, there's an eight pin on this side and it gives you two six plus two uh, PCIe, you know, uh, power plugs. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this bad mamma jamma of an awesome PC back in. I'm not gonna put the front back on right now. Well, I guess I'll put the front back on. We need a power button, don't we? And uh, I'm gonna get the benchmark up, rocking and rolling, and come meet me back for that. All right, guys, we got everything set up and we ran some 3D Mark Time Spot benchmarks. And I also have the uh, RTX 3050 on screen on the left. And on the right, you can see the RTX 3070. And of course, it just whomped that RTX 3050's ass. But let's jump on over to the on screen. Of course, as we look on the right side, we scored 12,357. And the RTX 3050 scored a 6,466. Not that good. And our RTX 3050 scored 40.33 FPS in the first graphics score, and the second graphics score was 34. And we come over here to our wonderful RTX 3070, and we scored 85.35 in the first graphics test. Our second graphics test was 72.62. Of course, I am going to go over some of the FPSs really quick that you would get with an RTX 3070. Of course, I do not suggest you buy the Zotec, because as you can see, I got it held up by a zip tie, and it looks kind of ghetto. So I would say don't do it. But uh, other than that, it works perfectly fine. Yes, it will work on the 500 watt power supply. Yes, it will rock your mind with gaming because it'll be awesome. Awesomeness just like coming out of your ears. That's pretty much it for this upgrade. Of course, you could slap your computer back together. As you can see, I can't because my Zotec card is too fat for the PC. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, throw them down in the comment section down below. I love engaging with you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'm Tech Nitwin, and I hope you guys have a great evening.